Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Fekker's Kitchen. As a matter of fact, your kitchen that I'm allowed to work in. Today, we're going to speak German. What do I mean by that? Oktoberfest is run, right around the corner, and what we need to do is bring some of those flavors to the table for you. What I'm going to do today, we're going to do some caraway flavored carrots, we're going to do some Frankfurt style potatoes, and we're going to do some Wiener Schnitzel, which means basically Schnitzel Viennese style. Now, let's start with the timing in the kitchen. As I always tell you, timing is the key in cooking. So we're going to start with creating the foundation for our potatoes. We're going to add a touch of butter. This is a very hot pan. Immediately, we're going to add the shallots. And we're going to start the sweating process, which is, as you can see, the steam, the water content of the shallot being released. A little bit of help from some sodium here, which is the pure sea, um, sea salt, the ash of white pepper. Now let's bring those aromatics to the uh, table. Some sage, thyme, and rosemary. All go in here, and we're going to start letting this do its thing. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to create the foundation for the carrots. The carrots are done with caraway seeds. Remember, when you're using seeds in cooking, you've got to break them up to allow those flavors to release themselves a little bit easier. So I very gently chop these caraway seeds, and they're going to go in a little bit of beer that's sitting in this pan. Next, I'm going to get the help of a little bit of brown sugar. That's going to go in here very little. You don't need much. Carrot is a huge source of natural sugar and sweetness, so you really don't need much. The only reason you're using the sugar here to create a glazing over the carrot when it reduces. This is on very slow simmer, everybody. I want you to know that when it's on slow simmer, you're allowing those pores of the ingredients open up and release their flavors. The carrots have been cut in a bias. This is what a bias means, means in an angle. So then we're going to put the carrots. Chef, why do you cut it in a bias? That's you asking me a question, and I'm going to answer it to you. The reason is it creates a different topography. Once it sits on the plate, it does not sit flat. It raises up, so anything else that attaches to it or touches it lifts up, and we need height on a plate. So cooking and plating is all about topography of the plate. Next, look at this, guys. This is the beautiful shallots that have gone, now are translucent and ready. We're going to add a little bit of horseradish. Your choice to use horseradish cream or use real fresh horseradish that has been grated. Next, here we're going to add a little bit of regular whipping cream. And that's all you need. The rest, look what's going to happen here. The rest is going to be a little bit of chicken broth. If, for those friends of mine that are watching, are gluten intolerant, the next uh, uh, process that we're going to go through is going to be the breading. Also, if you're lactose intolerant and you can't do this, then I believe, uh, I believe a perfect uh, solution would be a lactose, um, le a milk that does not have lactose, which is called lactate these days. You can buy them in the, I do not believe a soy uh, milk would do you any good because it's too sweet. Now, let's put the potatoes in here and everybody at home, look, I have cut the ends of each potato. Why? Because again, back to topography on the plate. Once it's sitting, where are you? There you are. Once you're sitting on the plate, you want to make sure that they sit nice and flat so you can start creating the foundation. The carrots are going, the potatoes are going. When we come back, I'm going to show you why there's an egg in the middle of this milk. This is what we call an egg wash, and we're going to use this liquid to bread our Wiener Schnitzel, which is the veal. When we come back, and after you know about the fl uh, flavors of the weather that Rob is going to share with you, I'm going to share with you the rest of the German flavors right here. Come on back. See you in a few. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's dive into the weather.